This tutorial video shows how to carry out quick quality control on ETABS models using validation rules. Validation rules can be configured to automatically color code uniqueness of any selected ETABS parameter or colorize the model based on expressions. Validation rules work on any parameter found in ETABS, E2K files for concrete or steel models. Let's switch to an ETABS model and explore. You would start your QC process by opening up an ETABS E2K file directly in Visicon by double clicking on it. The ETABS model is now opened in Visicon without needing an ETABS license. We can come in here on the visibility tab. It gives us the ability to turn on and off different components. For our demonstration today, we're going to turn off loads. As a quick orientation, if we select any of the components on the left side under the object properties panel, you have access to two levels of properties. The first tab here, just generically labeled properties, gives you access to general object information as well as geometric properties like thickness, B, D. Under the parameters tab, we pull in any of the non-geometric properties that are associated with that component in the E2K file and list them here. And we're going to run some quality control rules against these properties so that you can see how quickly you can kind of color code and verify that the values are as you expect in your model. On the right side, we have our project browser, and this is how we interact with the model. Let's go ahead and switch to the validation rules tab. And we're gonna go ahead and create our first validation rule. And let's hypothetically say what we want to do as a manager is check the consistency of thicknesses assigned to the various walls and slab elements in this model. So to do that, we take any panel. So I've selected one panel right here under the properties tab. I scroll down and I identify and then select the property that I'm interested in. In this case, we're interested in thickness. I'm going to right click, copy that variable. I come in here. So this is a rule. I don't need to give it a name. We're going to try the uniqueness first. So I'm going to paste that property thickness in here. What that does is it says if a component has this property under the condition pass, which means that the component has thickness, assign a variable color. If it fails, which means that the component does not have thickness, at this time we're ignoring it. Each of these validation rules can be set up to trigger object visibility, so color, opacity, visibility, selection for each of the pass and fail conditions of either a uniqueness of the selected parameter or an expression that we'll get to next. So what have we done? So we've now set up a validation rule that says we're interested in the thickness property. And what this does is it allows you as a manager to instantly see where you have variations in the thickness in your model. If we explore further, so now I don't have to be the person that created this model, but I can instantly see that I have a thickening around the columns. So here I can see that the thickness there is 500 millimeters. These are also 500 because they're exactly the same color. These red panels are 250. These pink ones are 230. So I can see where I have 230 mm panels. These dark blue ones I select are 280. And I can see clearly that this level and that level have the same property. Now, obviously you can configure colors and everything in ETABS, but this just makes it very easy and you don't need the ETABS license to be able to hand your model off to somebody or have somebody do the QA of your models for you. Taking this further, so now we've color coded all of the elements that have the property thickness by a unique color. We can now also isolate and just check where are we changing the thickness of our core walls. So it makes it very easy to see. And instantly I can see that there's a different assignment back here. So for whatever reason, this is 400 mm and this right here, this end piece is 600 mm. But at least I can see that that's the case and that 600 mm runs all the way down my building. So as a manager, I can very easily and effectively now view and feel comfortable with the model that somebody has created in my office. We're going to go ahead and turn on all the components again. So we check the uniqueness off of a physical property. Let's go ahead and check the uniqueness off of a non-physical property. So here we've selected another slap panel. This time, let's look at the area assignment property modifier M11. So I'm going to right click, copy that variable. We're going to follow the same exact process. We're going to create a new validation rule. This time, we're going to put it into the uniqueness. The difference this time is that we're now color coding where we have changes in that property. So I can immediately see where I've changed the stiffness modifier. In addition, let's take it one step further. Let's say these beams here that are linear elements don't have that property. So I don't 
don't want those to interfere in this view of my model. So I'm going to configure this to say if it fails, which means that a component does not have the area assignment property modifier M11. If it fails, I want the visibility to be hide. So now I click here. I now color code my model based on unique thickness. Select this validation rule. This validation set rule says color code based on the property modifier M11 and turn off any component that does not have that. So this way I'm only looking at my shell elements and can quickly do a quality control to make sure that I have uniformly assigned modifiers where expected. So now let's move into expressions. So we're going to stick with that same area property modifiers M11. And if I select one of these panels, that particular panel has a value of 0.35. So I'm going to show you how to use an expression. So again, we're going to create a new rule. This time we're going to paste that variable under expression and we're going to say equals point three five. When you create an expression, it doesn't immediately assign a unique colorization because it can't. So in this case, we have to be a little more specific and say, what do we want to happen to the components where the expression area assignment property M11 equals 0.35 is true. And so that's done by looking at this pass and let's assign the color yellow. And in this case, we can say fail. So if it fails, make opacity 5%. So what is this done? So this is now color coded our model to where it says highlight all elements that have a 0.35 modifier of M11, make those yellow and turn every other component 5% opaque. So this way I could set this up as a manager and again, very quickly run quality control on my model. Hopefully you can see here that it's pretty easy to set up fairly advanced rules. I mean, they're, they're simple, but they give you the ability to to you know, run some advanced quality control checks on your models with a combination of uniqueness validation rules as well as expressions. Any of these, once you set these up, you could say, well, I don't wanna to have to re-enter them every time. No problem. You can right click and you see how you can say save to template. Visicon allows you to save configurations to a template. So I can save them to various templates, add new ones or create a new one. So in my case, I've now created an eTabs quality control template. So we're gonna go and apply that. So I say file, apply template. So here I have my eTabs QA. And what you see is I've pre-saved all of these different rules. So I say that for my quality control, one of the steps that I wanna take is I wanna check where I have my area assignment that's 0 0.35, 0 0.7, where it's less than 0 0.35, greater than 0 0.75, or between those two values. Just for argument's sake, that's the quality control I wanna run on every eTabs model that's generated in my office. I would simply set up these five rules. Each of those rules has its own unique color assigned, and then I can group these into what's called a rule set. You see how I've selected this. This rule set now has these five rules applied to it, which means that this color coding of this model that you see here, I can apply this within seconds on any eTabs model that I have in my office to instantly get the color coding of all of the area assignment property modifiers. And that way I can make sure that I'm catching errors and can produce higher quality and more consistent models. Thank you for watching our video. Contact sales at visicon.com to request your free intro version. The features that I showed you with the validation rules do require a professional license. You can contact us for pricing or just purchase it directly on our website.